Corin! Can you please come to the front of the room and do the problem? I've made my choice. Excuse me? Out of the way! Well, I hardly think that- <laughs> Well, I hardly think that- Game! Corin, win! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and last time we got in Cloud, the soldier from first class who managed to get an amazing Elite Smash victory swinging that powerful Buster Sword. And with Cloud in, we only just have four characters left in our gigantic Road to Elite Smash series, which means we have one massive series left to finish up, and it is none other than the Fire Emblem series. To recap, we've gotten in Marth, Lucina, Krom, and a bunch of other characters, and we only have just one more, and of course that is going to be Corin. that is going to be our final Fire Emblem representative for our Road to Elite Smash. This black alt, also being a, the, one of the female arms, is also going to be a lot easier to handle, so let's go ahead and roar to victory. Alright, looks like we have Mario up first, and Mario will be a pretty interesting character to face off against, but let's just go ahead and show you Corrin's moveset. So to start off, we of course have her neutral B, which is Dragon Fang. It's a pretty interesting projectile, if I do say so myself. It has a lot to do with her um, projectile being reflected, as you saw with Mario's cape right before. But we make it back, actually, with her up B. I don't know if it's like Dragon Ascent or something like that. But what it is, ooh, that was not oh, good. No! Yeah, Dragon Ascent was poorly timed there. It is kind of a fast option out of shield. Yeah, this move is frame 18. Never let me cook again. Which is what I tried to do, but unfortunately we missed it a little bit. And I do want to cover my other moves, Let like down touch. Actually getting the kill there, for example. I don't think that was supposed to happen, but you know, we'll take it. Why don't you show off uh, tilt as well? Those are helpful to her combo game as well. And that rapid jab does some really good damage as well. And of course, we're going to be taking off that deadly F smash. Has an insane amount of range and a tipper on the end of that as well. So she, our shield's still airing on barely after that F smash. Alright, I haven't done the Dragon Fang just yet, but we do get a nice normal jab off of that. I'm trying to run in with that dash tech. Has a couple of. Uh, Takes opponent go. into each other, and as you see, a corn side pin, which it pins the opponent directly into the ground, and it follows up with a kick. And we'll be, uh, do a little more about the uh, way that kick actually goes. After we take a nice kill with that F smash, that pointy dragon pin just t going to the back of Mario's head and telling him that, that this great. victory is ours to take. Ooh, bayonetta! You know, I don't know if we've actually fought a bayonetta before. But regardless, Three, this is actually the two, DLC character that followed one, after Korin go. in Smash 4. And that's a nice little tidbit of knowledge, but unfortunately we're getting comboed. And it's just a reminder of Smash 4 all over again. 48% off that combo, not off to a great start. As we're just getting dodged over and over again. We're living at 164, which is fine, but we just, yeah. We're trying to get him with that F Smash, but we're just at too high a percent. And Bayonetta only at 49, so we got to do something really fast. I forgot to mention, apparently this timer is on 1 minutes and 20 seconds right now. We do get him with a nice F Smash. That is pretty crucial. But we're unfortunately running out of time to get some things done. And unfortunately, getting another up match, this is going to be really scary. Get him with the pin, though. That's doing pretty good. All right. I really got to stop doing that, just because if I miss, they give him a, a free chance to attack. And with Bayonetta, that's going to be up smash. As you saw with Scorn side B pin, we actually can go the other direction with that follow up on the kick. All right, get him with a nice up air. All right, we have 30 seconds left in order to make something happen. And it's running out really, really fast. So we got to do something really, uh, really soon. All right, yeah, 15 seconds. I think this game might be the first of the Road to Elite Smash series to go to Sun and Death. We got very close with Duck Hunt, but luckily took the kill in the final seconds. And at 58%, I don't Three. think that's happening. It's, Bayonetta goes yes. for that. Time. That which time? All right, here we go. Sun Death go. coming up. All right, missing with the, the neutral beat. We go for the side beat pin, and the kick is going to seal the deal. Whew, okay, that could have gotten really, really scary. We could have lost that game. Just Corn. one hit to end Win. it. And that's just yeah. how you do it with Corn. Ah, uh, all right, that is much better. A Donkey Kong matchup to finish this elite smash run Win. out after that scary sudden death with Corn. Bayonetta. I will Go. take that any day. All right. I wanted to get him up with the Dragon Fang, so I might as well talk about that a little bit now. Because if you fully charge it, it's a massive projectile that actually paralyzes opponents on contact. 
and the Dragon Maw actually does oh, some damage as well. Leonos. Oh, looks like DK buffered an air dodge, and you know what that means. <laughs> He's dead. So we already get a stock ahead with uh, 536 left. All right, getting some up tilt damage as well to 26. And let's go for a nice down throw. It's the most damage out of any of her throws. The other ones aren't really like too notable. Up throw can be used for kills sometimes. But yeah, we're using that. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, missing the tech on that. So we're unfortunately dead all the way out there. So that's really all DK has. We have some more things. So yeah, another thing you can do actually out of corn side you pin is you can actually use a jump that doesn't burn your own jump, almost getting him with that kick. All right, a nice nair. And this time, we're not missing with that dragon ascent. Going all the way to the heavens on that one, killing him off the top. All right, last stock for him though. So let's go ahead and do some more damage. That dash attack came to 25. The nair, another dash attack. All right, I wanted to get him with that pin, but he just keeps spamming side me and it somehow is working. So another fun fact about that smash actually is that that sword form hold is called the Yato and it does some additional damage as we get thrown out for our last stock. But we see at 83. So let's go for, try to go for a counter on this one. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? This ends here! So the thing with Korn's counter, I'll tell you a little bit more than that, because that was insane, and what a great way to finish that Elite Smash run. But what a close and exciting finish to this Elite Smash run, as Korn making it out of Sun Death alive against that Bayonetta, and getting a clutch counter against that Donkey Kong was nothing short of incredible for Korn. And yet, Korn was a really fun character to play with all of her unique properties. I gotta mention that one thing about her counter is that she actually stayed airborne, and is a really unique property about her counter. Also, doubling that knockback power against that giant punch was allowed, what allowed that Donkey Kong to just die instantly. And overall, Korn was just a pretty fun character to play. And all of the Fire Emblem characters, well, all they have in common is that they have a sword. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and crunch that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.